Next question. <laughs> Yeah, mostly it's uh, a Q&A of all because we had remnants of time in the morning. And uh, I think it's okay for us to rouse ourselves this early, <laughs> but to ask that of the performers. Uh, and that, 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 that was, that's the basic reason why also we found that this is an opportunity uh, that people like to give us feedback and for us to collect it. That said, we very much, you know, we, we've heard it and understand, and we remember being there that, that it does have some of the best moments, but, and this is why we've also tried to continue to evolve, encouraging the various performers and guests to hold office hours. While it's not an en masse thing, at least it's an opportunity for them to, to mingle and get some more intimate uh, interactions with people. Uh, and we've gotten lots of great feedback on those as well. Yeah, and I think the, you know, as our, as our size has grown, the size of the performer list has grown too, and if you had... All we do have these, 712 performers this year. <laughs> if you had all of these hams on stage together for an hour-long Q&A, you would get probably one answer from John Roderick, uh, a couple of quips from... the entire q &A. Right, a couple of quips from John Hodgman, and then you'd be out of time. Uh, so, I, you know, I, I, I think that the... Um, you know, do, doing an en masse uh, performer Q&A might always have that scalability problem, which is why, you know, this idea of having these other events and these panels where you get other opportunities to see performers mix and match in different, different ways, hopefully will uh, we'll scratch that itch.